How's it going everybody? Today I want to talk to you about the difference between a Kamado and a pellet smoker. Behind me you'll notice two different units. One is a Kamado Joe 3 Classic Griller Smoker and the other is a Yoder, smoker, Yoder Smokers YS640S. So I've gotten a ton of questions over the last year or so as to why I own uh, more than one unit. But the fact is they are actually two different types of machines and you really have to know um, what you want to cook in order to make a decision on which one to purchase. So let me tell you why I like the pellet grills. Pellet grills from Traeger, Rectech, Yoder Smokers, Pits and Splits. There are lots of different pellet grills out there. But here's why I like it. The first reason I like pellet grills is really the wood flavor. The small pellets mimic the taste of a big chunk of wood. While the taste is not as powerful and as flavorful as the large chunk of wood, it still gives you, uh, imparts that wood flavor into your meat. The second reason is temperature control. All pellet grills are electric, so all you have to do is plug it in, set the temperature, and it's almost just like your oven inside the house. You don't even have to babysit it. The next reason is basically year-round use. Um, whether it's 20 degrees outside or 100 degrees outside, all you have to do is push a button, set your temperature, and you don't even have to babysit it and watch it. It just works like enough. The pellet grills are perfect for low and slow cooks like ribs, uh, smoked chicken, brisket, tenderloin, perfect. So the first reason I like the Kamados is the superior moisture retention. The thick ceramic allows you to maintain the moisture in the meat without needing to use a water pan. The next reason I like the Kamado is really it is an excellent combination of low and slow temps as well as high grilling temps. So it's a very versatile machine. Another reason I like the Kamado is really the modular design. So there are lots of different uh, components internally you can use to um, configure it to your liking. You can add a griddle, um, you can add a multi-tier grate system, very versatile. One of the main differences I see between the two units is the price to performance ratio. With a Kamado, you get a lot less cooking surface than you will with a um, pellet smoker. Simply put, you can get a lot more for your money with a pellet smoker. So let me answer the big question. Do you need both? No, not really. If you know how to cook with each one of them, you can really make some good food. But there are some significant differences you need to be aware of if you're trying to make the best possible uh, piece of meat. For me, I'll stick with both. I like to do high temp cooking, whether it be steaks, hamburgers, hot dogs, and the Kamado is perfect for that. But I also like to do long, low and slow cooks. And I don't have a lot of time to spend when I'm making, when I'm cooking. So for me, pellet grills are perfect. If you're new to pellet grills, um, I would check out Pit Boss. You can get those at Academy Sports. If you're more advanced and you understand the differences out there, then you could upgrade to the larger uh, Traegers, also Yoder Smokers, as well as Pits and Splits. Those are all fantastic smokers. If you have any questions, please hit me up. I'll do my best to help you uh, get those answered. In short, both of these are great units. They both have their strengths and weaknesses. I prefer to because I like to cook a variety of foods, um, but simply put, you know, you can go at one and be just fine. Since we're still here, how does the Kamado compare to a regular charcoal grill? If you own a Weber kettle, it can cook food just as good as a Kamado. But the major difference is really the thickness of the outside shell. Kamados allow you to really lock in moisture into your meat. And in my opinion, in my observation, food comes out infinitely more juicy than it does on a charcoal grill. But if all you're interested in is making a hamburger or steak from time to time, it's not worth spending your money on a Kamado. So thanks everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Again, please hit me up if you have any questions. I'll do my best to help you answer those. Thanks and have a nice day.